In this session, let's learn about checkpoint process. Before learning about checkpoint process, let's understand what is a checkpoint. A checkpoint is a database event which synchronizes the modified data blocks in the memory with the data files on the disk. That means whenever this checkpoint happens, all the dirty buffers present in the database buffer cache will be modified in the data files. Okay? When this checkpoint occurs, it also updates the data file headers and the control file with the latest checkpoint system change number, which is also called as SCN. You can think system change number like a oracle clock, which increments every time there is a commit. Okay, it's a sequential number which oracle keeps incrementing for every commit. Okay, why do we need a checkpoint? We need checkpoint to establish data consistency and to enable faster database recovery. Okay, remember these two points, establish data consistency and enable faster database recovery. Okay, so now you might be thinking, when will a checkpoint occur? The checkpoint can occur in one of these five scenarios. The first scenario is at each switch of the redo log files. We know there are multiple redo log files in the Oracle database. When the Oracle instance is moving from one redo log file to the other, before moving it will trigger the checkpoint. Okay. The second one is once the number of seconds defined in the log checkpoint timeout parameter is reached, then the checkpoint is occurred. Example, if it says 60 seconds in the log checkpoint timeout parameter, then every 60 seconds the checkpoint is occurred. The third one, once the current redo log file reaches the size of log checkpoint interval parameter into size of IO OS blocks. If the input output OS block size is 512 and if the log checkpoint interval parameter is set to 10,000 then once the current redo log file reaches 5 MB then a checkpoint occurs. And the fourth one is whenever the Oracle database administrator manually switches the log file from one to another using the alter system switch log file command then the checkpoint will occur. And the fifth one is whenever the database administrator issues the command alter system checkpoint, then the checkpoint will occur. In any of these five scenarios, a checkpoint can occur. Okay, this is very important to understand and remember these five scenarios. Okay, now we know what a checkpoint is and obviously it is easy to guess what a checkpoint process does. This checkpoint process records the checkpoint information which is your system change number into the data files and into the control file. On the data files, it records the system change number onto the headers of the data files and whereas it writes the system change number into the control file. Okay?